every Tuesday morning on the show, we read an email from someone who went on a date or two, or sometimes a little bit more, and for some reason they've been blown off, and they can't figure out why. And instead of walking away, they have to know. Like, they're losing sleep. They have anxiety because they don't know. They want closure. It's called Second Date Update, and this is our staff's choice for the most memorable Second Date Update. (laughs) Dylan from Long Beach. Here we go. It's a Second Date Update. So here's the deal. Dylan in Long Beach, he said he met this beautiful woman on Hinge. Is that what you met Socrates on? Sure is. I love Hinge. After chatting for quite some time, they decided to uh, do a date in the park. It went well. So they ended up going back to his place for a drink on the patio. He thinks it went great. She seemed super interested. And he says he texted her the next day and nothing. She's not replied to any of his texts. The reason he's writing to us is because this is the third straight woman in a row that this has happened with. He wants to know what he's doing wrong. Yikes. Yeah. Dylan, thank you for coming on. Uh, We just read your email. So three women... Ghosting you in a row, huh? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> what what happens when you get to the patio? Uh, what what happens on the patio? Um. Well, we were just you know chatting. We for a while we had a like a drink, and I, I've gone over it in my head multiple times, and nothing seemed to miss. Like I've thought of everything I could have done to you know offend her or anything, but nothing is coming up. What kinds of things did you talk about? Oh, uh, well, we talked about, you know, the current state of the U.S. at the moment with COVID and everything. We talked about um, some of our hobbies, um, just, you know, normal stuff that you what, do what when is, you are What's one of your them. hobbies? Um, uh, I like playing with Legos a lot, you know, building mm-hmm. stuff and there working with my go. hands. All now right. it's starting that up. All right. Uh-huh. And All it's right. Lego. So did you, it is Lego, but did you tell... Uh, said individual that you like to play Lego? Um, During that, when she came over, I did. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that's a reason, but that is uh, that could be something, right? Stands out to me. Yeah. Toys, I right? You're so playing too. with toys? I think it's a perfectly man. normal hobby. A lot of people do it and build yeah. stuff. A lot of people do, and they're single. <laughs> Ouch. I'm just saying, well, a lot of people usually do. grown when grown men play Lego. It's because they have a child. That I they still can't get over you Lego saying Lego. With. It's I, Lego. We Lego. know. We know. I know. know for we fact know, but it still sounds weird. Well, we could say Lego. So when grown men play with toys, might be the issue you're saying. I think so. Uh, maybe, but I wouldn't consider them toys. They don't have an age limit. Okay, so Dylan. W- yeah, they actually do. W- <laughs> All right, so that was one date. What about the other two? They. Didn't respond either? Yeah, I didn't respond either. Did you tell them that you play with Lego as well? Legos. It might have come up as well, but... <laughs> Is this Easton? What if, this guy sounds what like if Easton. We tried, <laughs> what if we tried eliminating that hobby just for the next date? And just maybe don't bring it up yet. But the issue is, like, in my house, you know, I have quite a couple sets set up, so if they end up having to go inside... Yeah, Can you guys you get gotta... Easton on the phone as well? Patty? I love girl. Lego. I actually collect Lego. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Michael loves Lego. My kids love Lego. And it would break my heart if my kids were to come home and tell me that someone doesn't want to date them because they love Lego. So you're saying there's he... a lot of Lego clubs, so I think maybe you can find <laughs> okay. these Lego clubs where you can find That's right? a good idea. Partner. Lego clubs. That's a good uh, idea. The Lego club. Yeah. So don't let go your Lego. Hold one second. No. We're actually gonna call one of the women that stopped talking to you next here. Also, track down Easton. They sound exactly alike, our engineer. <laughs> it's- Dylan, you went out with Caroline, is that correct? That is correct. Okay, and she was on the patio with you, is that correct? Yes. So here's the deal with Dylan. And I love him because he's like, I just want answers. He's gone out with three women, all of which have stopped communicating with him immediately after they've gone out with him. And he doesn't know why. So let me go to a source here. Caroline went out with Dylan. Caroline, thank you for coming on. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So you went out with Dylan. How'd it go? Um, it it went fine, really. Um, we we went on a a date to a park. Uh Um, it went really well. Uh, we went back to his place. Um. 
and that was nice. You know, we it was it, it was safe and um, pretty low key. Um, so so yeah, it, it, the date was fine. And then Dylan tells me that he communicated with you afterwards, and you have not responded. So what did he do wrong mm-hmm. to get you to stop communicating with him? Um, well, gosh, this is this is maybe going to seem superficial, but I just couldn't get past this <laughs> large amount of Legos that he had. Um, he had this like Lego tree house sort of thing, I guess you'd call it in his main living area, like, you know, three feet tall kind of thing. Um, not, uh, <laughs> not like a collector set, you know? Um, and then on the dining room table, there was also something else he, he was working on. Um, wasn't quite finished. I, it looked like some sort of ship from, you know, Star Trek or Star a Wars. Spaceship or, or something. Uh, something. Oh, that so yeah. that turned you off to see his, uh, his toys? Yeah, I just, I, I, I used to work for a toy company and I just like, it's, I don't know. I don't, I know the kind of guys, I guess, who have the big Lego sets, and it's, I don't think it's for me. Okay. In terms of a partner. <laughs> well, Dylan is on the phone and he's uh, listening to your feedback now. And so, Dylan, it could be your, your toys, your hobby there that's, turning off your dates. Caroline clearly was impacted by that. Uh, but there's no reason for you to change what you love, Dylan. You know, if they can't get past it, then they're not for you, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad to know what the reason was, but at the same time, you know, I really love this hobby and I want to find someone who finds enjoyment in it as well. So Yes, I understand. So Caroline is not the one for you. But Caroline, thank you for coming on and giving us some answers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. No problem. Okay. Bye-bye, Caroline. Okay, bye. Bye. Yeah. I kind of, you know, I, I'm thinking about this. Keeping the Legos out weeds them out, right? It's If they see them right away, it helps totally. you weed them out faster. Dylan? Yeah, if that's not what yeah. they're into. So Easton is our engineer, and Dylan, you're on. Easton, are you there? I'm here. And Dylan, are you there? I'm here. Is that... <laughs> Is that not the same guy? <laughs> kind of does sound the same. Uh, Easton, do you have any Lego? I have some within arm's reach. Uh huh. And what are you building right now? <laughs> the the DeLorean from Back to the Future. <laughs> nice. And Dylan, what are you building on your table right now? Uh, the Millennium Falcon. Oh wow! Is that wow. not the same voice? The two of you need to meet Dylan. You don't need Caroline. You need Easton. <laughs> He's the one. <laughs> I'm here for you, man. There we go. You know, there we go. <laughs> what are you doing this weekend, Easton? Oh, you know, I'm just building some week. Lego and seeing where it takes me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing this weekend, Dylan? Uh, well, I'm perfectly free, so if, I mean, if Ethan wants to meet up, I think we can. We'll be safe. Oh, nice. Sounds like a brick connection to me. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Well, <laughs> our work is done, Sissini. There another, we go. Another happily ever after story of exactly. matchmaking. Exactly, and you know Easton's married, so maybe Allison has a friend, a single friend for oh, Dylan. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. You know, yeah, well, you I'll, I'll ask her. <laughs> it's hard to find a girl that's into Lego like that. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> well, this has gone well. Dylan, take care of yourself. Thank you for reaching out. Uh, thank you.